The next story is a spy thriller. <laughs> it's about Jamesy Bondy, <laughs> Special Agent Nikisi Nikisi Seven. <laughs> the news was leaking out that the Rhodesians were building a hydraulic electro project <laughs> across the Machum Shlopi River in Bulawayo. <laughs> well, this was no good because if the scheme was completed, then they would never pay back this credit for Kariba. <laughs> so the authorities overseas decided to call in MI5. That's Maningin Daba 5. <laughs> And they sent Jamesy Bondi to put a Bobijan spanner in the works. <laughs> Sometime later, Jamesy Bondi crossed the river. Unfortunately, when he was halfway across, somebody opened up the sluice gates from the dam <laughs> upstream, and Jamesy Bondi came out 50 miles downstream. <laughs> but undaunted, he assembled his collapsible mabaskor. <laughs> and headed in a northerly direction. After 15 minutes, he stopped because he remembered that Bulaway was in a southerly direction. <laughs> a few days later, he arrived in Bulaway and went to the Jaburara Hotel, which has a one and a half star rating. <laughs> and there he had a bath and he put on the Eau de Colombo <laughs> and then he dressed himself in his new lemon-colored suit, tailored especially by the house of Patel. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went to the Makaranga eating house, found a cubicle in the corner, and after studying the a la carte menu for some time, he ordered... Sadza and gravy. <laughs> While he was eating, a hostess detached herself from the bar <laughs> and slinked over to the cubicle. <laughs> she smiled sweetly and said, Mangwanani! <laughs> My name <clears throat> My name is a Fanny. <laughs> Fanny Galore. James Bondi gave her the twice over. <laughs> she was a very beautiful with a lovely figure. 594765. <laughs> he said, My name is Bondi, James Bondi. She gave him a paper packet. Inside was brown powder. Any law, said James Bondi. Kabanga in a new kind of plastic explosive to blow up the dam. Ay, Kona, she said. This is instant beer. <laughs> Tomorrow morning at six o'clock, you put the powder in the dam, and the sun will turn all the water into beer. The engineers will drink the beer, they will become sloshed, <laughs> and they will be unable to finish the work. It's a very clever, these Chinese people. It's a diabolical. <laughs> and when you finished your work, she said, Come up to my flat and I'll show you my Bushman paintings. <laughs> James Bondi crept along the wall until he came to the middle. 
But it was still four hours to go before six o'clock. So, he climbed into a cement mixer and went to sleep. <laughs> reminding himself to wake up at 5.45 a.m. <laughs> at 5.30 a.m., the contractor <laughs> switched on the cement mixer. <laughs> and the next thing that Bondi knew, he was being thrown into a big hole closely followed by three tons of liquid cement. <laughs> the next day, MI5 received a telegram which read, James Bondi is out of action, and if you want proof, we have concrete evidence. 